Hello, welcome back to my series on uh, books that I recommend in subjects that I know a little bit about. This episode then I'm going to talk about DIY. I've got one recommendation, um, presumably you can still get this book, but I also want to talk about this stack of books here. So we'll look at the recommended book first. This is my Collins Complete DIY Manual. I'm sure there are other DIY manuals as good. Um, this is absolutely comprehensive. If you live in a house, um, which I don't obviously, but if you live in a house, this book will tell you everything you need to know to keep that house up together. Um, it's so good actually, that quite a years ago now, Years ago I was helping um, some friends of mine that had just bought a house and they had to gut out the interior and rebuild it in a hurry before they could move in. Now I was going to help them with that and they had a builder lined up who was going to do all the clever work. Now at the last minute the builder dropped out and much panic ensued and I said well I'll have a go then. And so armed with my big book of DIY um, I managed to do all that building work. And I even managed to do all the wiring as well. Um, now that might sound horrifying, but here's the thing. Most of something, a skilled job like being an electrician, most of that is just putting things together and nailing them on walls, drilling holes and things and so forth. It's simple stuff. You know, I'd say a huge percentage of what the electrician does in a house is simple stuff. So my technique there was to do all that simple stuff and then they could call in the electrician to finish it off, do the clever bit and most importantly certify it all as being safe. And that's an approach you can do with a lot of things. So a lot, a lot of, I mean you have to find a tradesman that's willing to put up with that kind of treatment and not all of them are. I mean most tradesmen will insist that they have to do the whole job. But that's because most of the job is quite straightforward. I'm sure there's many tradesmen I, I'm, I'm upsetting now, but it worked a treat in that case, and um, and I've, I've done it since. When I had to do all the electrical wiring for my workshop, that had to be certified for the fire insurance. I don't, don't mean the workshop here, I mean when I had a workshop in town. And I did the same thing there. So I did all the wiring as best I could, called the guy out, he found a few mistakes, which obviously and that's why he was there, um, finished off the wiring and then he hooked it up to the rest of the mains feed, gave him my certificate, everyone was happy. And that knowledge I gained primarily from this book. So this, like most of the books that I've recommended, is very clearly written and that's what I'm after in a book. So here, if we open it almost at random, um, we've got a page on external walls and then what I really like about it is you, you have a little paragraph on each and then it's illustrated. It's always a cutaway illustration and that for me is, is great. I'm quite a, a visual person. Being able to read the information and then see a little cutaway drawing of whatever it is and bof, that's, that's it. That's, I've grasped it then and then I can use that information. So this is great for telling you the conventional ways of doing things and once you know the conventional ways then you can if you're so inclined make up the unconventional ways which is what I tend to do but if you want to know the proper way of doing anything from uh, wiring a house to erecting a fence to building a retaining wall it's all in here so that's a modern DIY book and it's very useful um, but there's a lot in there that it doesn't cover. And what I discovered when I started going through second-hand bookshops and buying older DIY books, which is what this lot here is just a, a small um, sample of what I've, <laughs> I've got loads more of these type of books. These are really old DIY books and they're great. They're called things like um, The Handyman's Complete Self-Instructor. Um, Home Woodworking Illustrated, the Encyclopedia of Popular Mechanics, and Practical Handiwork for All. 
what struck me about these books is that the further back you go, um, the more is assumed that one you already know and that two you're going to attempt. And by that I mean if you go back a few decades, the DIY book will tell you how to do all the wiring. It's going to assume that you're going to do all that off your own bat. Um, one of these DIY books has house plans. It just <laughs> it assumes that if you're into DIY, then oh, of course you're going to build your own house. Why wouldn't you? I have a DIY book um, that talks about television as the latest fad. But not only that, it has a chapter on building your own television, which just, yeah, mind blown. Um, that television won't work nowadays, by the way. <laughs> um, I've got a, a chapter in one of these books on building your own lead acid batteries, or um, and they're made of um, wood and pitch um, with sheets of lead and then filled with sulfuric acid. I mean, that's basically what a lead acid battery is. but. Until I'd read that chapter, it, it would never have occurred to me to build one. I mean, I still haven't built any, but at least now I know how to build lead acid batteries if I was ever so inclined. So really interesting information, and in, in not these books in particular, but books going back further and further that just give you more and more fundamental information, I suppose, on doing things more and more closer to doing them from scratch. Um, yeah, which we'll get into. I've got a, another book on metalworking. That's that's even more the case. But sticking to the DIY for a minute. These are just really interesting to read. If you're into like I am, um, making things and building things and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, I was going to say doing it all on your own. It's not necessarily that I want to do it all on my own, but I'd like to know how to if I chose to do so. Um, so yeah, some, some cracking reading material in these old DIY manuals, and they can be picked up for next to nothing. I didn't pay more than a pound for any of these. So good reading in old DIY manuals, but the pick of the week goes to Colin's Complete DIY Manual, um, which has probably got a newer edition than this one now. But it's got everything in here from um, landscaping to roofing to interior decorating. It really is a really comprehensive DIY book. That's the pick of the week. I'll right, see you on the next one. Cheers.